Hello guys, my name is Remik and in today's video I would like to show you how I am using the Azure app configuration in order to fetch uh, for me essential configuration from the Azure and also how to integrate this with the Key Vault just to have the references uh, to the Key Vault and then fetch this to our project. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and write some comment for me uh, for the future just to know uh, what's your feedback and what to do next for my next videos. Uh, okay, here as you see I have the blank .NET Core project uh, with the weather forecast, so we will just delete this. We don't need that. Uh, we'll go to the weather forecast controller and change this name to the configuration controller. configuration controller and I'll just change also that name here just to not have the errors inside of it we'll have the only one endpoint called get configuration And it's going to return for us i enumerable of string. And just for now, I'll just return new list of string values. I'll just remove also that part. Also, clean up. Constructor. Okay, so um, the first thing to do is just to create the Azure resources, so the new resource group, uh, Azure app configuration, and also the key vault. So I'll go to my Azure portal, I'll create the resource, and the first one will be the key vault. I have to create the new resource group called my resource group, for instance. Uh, so my resource resource group created. The region will be Germany West Central, and race and tier will be standard. Everything else we are just okay. The name my key vault one to three. Maybe that one. Okay. Everything done. So we are creating the key vault. And we can, in parallel, just go and create the app configuration. I'll create app conf in the same resource group. Azure app conf will be free and I will review and create it. Okay, now we are ready to add our configuration values. So we will go to the configuration explorer. I will just create a new key value. It's going to be the um, Azure maybe app conf colon first conf value and the value will be the first apply it and then we have to go to the key vault and add the secret to the key vault and then add here the reference uh, to that variable so we'll go to key vault I'll add the new secret to it, generate import, the name will be second configuration value and the secret will be one, two, three. Create it. 
and now we have to go back to the uh, configuration the app configuration and add the reference to our key vault secret so configuration explorer key vault reference the key will be the same so app conf colon second conf value the key vault is this one and our secret and i will apply and now we can go to the rider and add the essential configuration uh, and options uh, in order to fetch that configuration to our project. Okay, so first thing to do is to add the builder post bigger app configuration. options and inside of it it will be the options at azure app configuration but we have to install uh, two nugget packages that will require here is going to be the first one azure app configuration one or install and also uh, in order to be authenticated uh, to key vault we have to install also the azure identity okay now uh, we have installed all the packages so it will be opt and now we have to connect to it and then we will need to fetch uh, the connection string to our app configuration so to we'll add a special array so connection strings and azure app configuration we have to go to azure and uh, get this connection string so it is in the access keys and in the connection string copy that value and paste here now we'll be able to get this value so builder configuration get connection string and azure app configuration Okay, now we have to configure the key vault. So it will be the opt configure key vault and inside of it, so maybe the key vault. And so we have to set the credential. So our uh, managed identity. So I'll write new default Azure credential. And then also we can. Uh, set up the refreshing mechanism of our secrets so it will be the key vault dot set secret refresh interval and just for the demo purposes it will be the time span from seconds and 15 let's say after that We can also configure refresh so the refresh functionality uh, when you change uh, this configuration value in the uh, app conf then it will be refreshed if it will not be done here then uh, only on startup you'll fetch everything and then it will not be changed at all so this is the very important thing to do And now we have to register those uh, configuration values that have to be refreshed every certain period of time. So I'll register 
first one, but in order just to have this very clean, we have to add uh, the special class for the um, to perform the options pattern here, and then it will be uh, very nicely done here. So I will add a special folder called options and here it will be the public const string as the key so app conf options key and azure no it was uh in key. in azure app configuration we have set the prefix of app conf then a column so it will be app conf then first one was public string first conf value set and the second one was public string second conf value All right, now we have to go back to the program CS and we can register those variables. So it will be the first one will be up on options dot key and then it will be the name name of up conf options first conf value. And then we have to set the cache expiration. So for the demo purposes, it will be the time span the same as with the with the key vault. It will be from seconds, and it will set fifteen. And then the second one, I will just copy, and it was second con value. And we are actually done. Okay, now we are ready to register our appconf and also uh, to add to our middlewares. Uh, I have encountered uh, the case that I was not able to refresh uh, my configuration values because I have not added uh, the app dot uh, use Azure app configuration and it was only loading the configuration values on startup and then it was not refreshed even uh, as here I have configured everything properly so uh, as the reminder please uh, not uh, perform the same mistake I'll just add builder configuration it will be the builder services at Azure app configuration. So this is the first step. And then app use Azure app configuration. Also, we need to register our uh, options. So it will be builder services configure. options then builder configuration get section now it will be the app conf options dot key so we are fetching like the section uh, of that configuration values based on uh, what we have done in the azure app configuration so same some kind of the prefix Okay, now there's the time to configure our controller, uh, add the options monitor, and display the values fetched from the appconf uh, in our swagger. So, it will be the private read-only i 
options monitor, AppConf options, options monitor, configuration, automated typo, PI options monitor, Conf options, options monitor, and then normal dependency injection to be the options monitor. And then we will just normally return those two values. So current value first one and options monitor current value second month value. Okay, as we see, uh, our swagger mm, loaded correctly. So we have to try it out, execute, and as you see, we have the first, uh, which is uh, the value from the uh, Azure app configuration, and the second one was from the key vault. So I will just go to the first one, just to check if our refresh functionality works well or not. So I will change this to first refreshed. I'll apply, then we go swagger and execute. And as you see, it correctly refreshed after we changed the value uh, in our Azure account. Okay, guys, this is everything for today's video. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, and also write a comment how you're using the Azure app configuration, or maybe you're not using, uh, but you're willing to. So uh, then please follow uh, my tutorial.